Practically everything you believe in. They have been As Germany marched on Europe, the invasion and occupation of Gibraltar became an increasing threat. The British needed a plan. The plan was called Operation Tracer. It meant burying six soldiers alive inside the rock. They would create a secret sealed off chamber where they could hide potentially for years. In Gibraltar, it became known as Stay Behind Cave. One of the masterminds of the plan was none other than James Bond author Ian Fleming. The team would consist of a commander, two surgeons and three communications ratings from the Navy. Their mission was simple, to silently observe the occupying enemy and feed intelligence back to London by radio transmissions in the dead of night. The Germans never did capture Gibraltar and stay behind cave was never needed, but many believe the prepared chamber still existed somewhere inside the rock. You grew up with the myth of the stay behind. We all knew the story of the stay behind. It was just where. Nobody knew where it was. Nobody even knew where to start looking for it. So we're going to be wearing a helmet today, which you can just adjust at the back there. On Boxing Day 1996, a group of cavers stumbled upon the very thing Gibraltar had been searching for for years. 25 years on, Philip Smith of the Gibraltar Museum is allowing us inside. I'm going to say, I need to get me torch yet. Even though it's been a quarter of a century, still very few people have seen Stay Behind. And it was just down here that the caving group discovered the secret chamber when they fortunately stopped here to have a break and they felt wind coming through the corrugated iron. And there was no reason for that because it should be the rock of limestone and then just a little bit of concrete with the corrugated iron over the top. So they removed the corrugated iron and behind it was a preformed concrete structure there. So that large area, that was when the system was under construction, that was where they moved building materials in and carried the rubble out. So that was covered over and there's a small access hatch here, which would be where the men would be put into the chamber and then they would brick this up and put the corrugated iron over it so nobody could see where they were. Once the men were sealed inside the chamber, these are the bags of cement and the bricks they would have used to brick up their side of the passageway to make sure it was secret. Um, this is all natural rock. Some of it is natural caves, so they didn't have to build this whole thing. There were already partial caves here. And that area there is soil, which you wouldn't expect to find. But the reason that's there is that if any of the members of the tracer team had died, one of the surgeons would treat the body with lime and then they would be buried in there. The only reason they found the cave was that the door here had collapsed, the hinges had rusted away and the door had collapsed, allowing the air to pass through. Maybe if they'd been here the year before, the door would still be in place and they'd never have felt the wind coming through. So it was very lucky that the two things coincided, the door falling down and then picking that spot to stop. The cavers knew they'd found something special but had they found stay behind? I'm sure people have probably been in there before, it's possible. But yeah. if you find a rock, find a rock, but you might have been a bar of gold, but if you don't know it's a bar of gold, you don't know what you found. The clincher was the observation post, the OPs, especially yeah. on the western side, which was a very thin slit with a concrete wedge that had been made perfectly to fit into that, into that slit. That to me was the biggest clincher. This is, this is it, we found stay behind. OK, this is the main room. This is where the men would have lived and slept and passed the free time. So they would have had bunk beds here, shelving with all the food and special equipment, everything that they needed. And through that, what looks like a window there, that's, that's the metal water tank, holds 10,000 gallons. Um, it's naturally collected rainwater. And when the caving group first came in here, the tap that's in that corner there, they turned it on, it ran rusty for a few seconds, and then pure, clean, fresh water was coming through. So that's still topping up to this day. The floor was covered in these cork tiles. They would deaden the sound. Also, they mixed in horse dung with the plaster on the walls, and that helped it to stick, but also helped to deaden the sound as well. And then with both doors closed as well, it would stop sound from carrying through the passage to the walkway that we came in from. Okay, as we come into this section, the area on the right was the radio room where the radios and the spare batteries were kept. And on here, we have the toilet. And interestingly, there's two toilets there. 
Not so you could have a chat with your mate in the morning while you were doing your business. The reason for that was everything in Tracer had to be belt and braces. If, one toilet, if you only had one toilet and it broke, that would mess you up big time. What we've got here, there's a ventilation shaft. The ventilation was operated by this fan. And you can also see here the hand crank where the men would hand crank to get the ventilation. That would also give them a bit of a workout for upper body strength training. They also had an exercise bike. Um, which was used just, not just for exercise, but to charge up the radios. And that had, instead of a metal chain, it was a leather strap, so it would run quietly. This piece of piping here is quite important. They needed to keep the existence of the chamber secret, but they also needed to be able to transmit once a day back to London the information that they gathered. They couldn't leave an aerial on the outside, so this pipe held a flexible aerial, and when it was dark, they'd push the aerial out, send the transmission back to London, and then pull it back in so that they couldn't be detected. Our theory is that the way that the, the troops were observing what was going out is by using the pinhole camera method, where the light has been shone inside and, the, and, and it's from such a, a, a tight hole, it would create a projection on a screen behind. And that's what we realized was happening in there. So on a bright day, what was going on outside was being projected on a screen inside. So you didn't even have to look out. You just need to sit and look behind you and write out 20 ships, five, whatever. The cavers kept quiet for months. They weren't entirely sure what to do with their historic find, although they were forced to tell some. We were here on Boxing Day 1996. We had to justify where we were. I said, I told my mum because obviously I was giving credit to my granddad for telling me all these stories and that. It's now a quarter of a century since the cavers made the discovery, but nothing has changed with Stay Behind. John Paul and Mark didn't want to go in. They said it hurt that it hadn't been preserved and shown to more people. Does it make you sad that nothing's been done with that since you found 25 years ago? Yes. Yes. The decay. Uh, this is the one known site in the world, and bear in mind, Tracer wasn't just for Gibraltar. Tracer was for all British Mediterranean assets. Gibraltar, Aden, Colombo, Trincomalee. These were all planning to put in these overview OPs. Only one's been found in the world, and it's been rotting away for 25 years. I believe we need to do something about it. Stabilise it and let people know what we have. You know, it's, it's a waste. Historical documents confirm Pete's theory. In future wars, tracer teams should be organised and tracer locations prepared throughout the world. Such a precious resource, we don't want to damage it by having too many people going through. So it's a balance between letting people know about it and, and not causing too much damage in the tunnel. We are hoping in the future to do some stabilisation work. If we, get, if we are able to do that, then maybe we can get a few more in safely. What worries me more is development. Developers are a little bit short-sighted when it comes to, 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 to history and that makes us sad. It's, 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 it's very worrying that we are losing a lot of bunkers and a lot of military assets and it's still happening now. We pressure the government as much as possible. We feel that we are respected by, by government but money, money talks. The mystery may be partly solved but the search for stay behind isn't over. I still firmly believe there is another one. We think that this stay behind is missing one important piece of information gathering. And that is it can't see what's, got, what's happening on the north side of the rock. So we think that there might be a stay, be, stay behind north. Now whether it still exists or not, I'm not sure. We've searched high and low. We've looked at every single tunnel over there. And so far we've not stumbled across it. But who knows, we're still looking. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.